The cooling system in your car is actually very, very important to the health of the engine. Now, a buildup of minerals and metals in the radiator itself over time is drastically going to reduce the efficiency of the car's cooling system and thus the engine. So how do you prevent this? Well, you can do a regular radiator flush. How do you flush a radiator? Here's how. For the next step, we advise getting a bottle of radiator flush. This is a chemical that basically attacks all of the minerals and metals inside the cooling system and flushes them out, helps break them down so that they will run out. Now, before you get started, you need to make sure that the engine itself is cold. You then need to find the lowest point on the cooling system, uh, which will usually be a petcock or maybe even the bottom radiator hose. Now it is important to remember that ethylene glycol or antifreeze is poisonous to humans and animals and will need to be disposed of properly. Okay, so you need to take off the bottom hose or the petcock and drain the coolant out. So the next step is kind of messy. So you might wanna be doing this outside. You're gonna to need to get your garden hose and stick it in the top port of the radiator. Then you turn the water on and let the water run through the radiator and out the bottom and continuously flush the system. You might need to do this about two or three times to make sure you get all of the dirt and grime out of the radiator. Once you've flushed the system a few times, you can then put the hose back or put the petcock back and then refill the system 50-50. 50% ethylene glycol antifreeze and 50% water. Some manufacturers will recommend a 70-30 mix but 50-50 is just fine. Once you've filled the system, leave the cap off and let the engine run for a few minutes. This will allow any air bubbles that have become entrapped in the system to make their way out and escape. Once the system has been vented and resealed, you're ready to go. Now you don't need to do a radiator flush all that often, maybe once or twice a year, or at the very least, whenever the car has a service done.